There we go. I'm on. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. I'm gonna try to give him that Eddie Sam. What's going on guys and welcome to bear country. That's right. We're at one of my favorite places to fish the Russian River. It is early June and the fish are starting to push up here as in the sockeye salmon. This is a very famous place to come and do what's called combat fishing for these sockeyes. However, myself, Sam and Lindsay, we don't really feel like doing any sockeye fishing just quite yet. We came up here for the rainbow trout. There's sometimes some nice rainbow trouts that hang around here and you can get them on your fly rod. So we decided to make the journey all the way to bear country and do a little bit of fly fishing for you guys on today's episode. Before this video goes any farther though, I'd like to take this moment to thank our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Nebula, introducing the first ever ultimate outdoor triple protection projector, Mars 3. Built for the outdoors, it has a dust proof rating of 0.7 millimeters. So you don't have to worry about it getting dirty in the bed of your truck. It's water resistant with an IPX3 waterproof rating. It can withstand drops of 0.5 meters in case you're caught in a rainstorm or even out fishing. It's also impact proof, making it perfect for your outdoor adventures. Also a battery display that can be viewed without turning on the device and industry first. There is also an automatic lens cover. It has three levels of automatic adjustment for camping lights, built-in control panel, the battery has a five hour watch time. It also has the capacity to charge other electronics. I mainly use it for my phone, but I've also charged camera gear with it and also my headlamps. Mars 3 newly features AI image adjust technology, which can automatically adjust the picture's color, color range, and brightness based on the ambient light. Since the Mars 3 is the first ever ultimate outdoor projector, it's got awesome features to it. It's waterproof, it's dust proof, and it's even drop proof. So that means when we take it out fishing or hunting, we can leave it in the bed of our truck. It can get banged around and nothing is going to damage or hurt this baby. She is an absolute unit. Those were just a few of the amazing features that the Nebula Mars 3 has to offer. It's got plenty more to come with it. It's even got a little kickstand right here for you so you could place it on uneven surfaces and still get that perfect angle. It also has three physical speakers to it. So if you guys just wanna listen to some music and relax, you can hit this little Bluetooth button on the smart controller. But with all that being said, it is very simple and very easy to use. All you have to do is flip her down and you have your smart controller right here. So that way you don't need a controller to bring with you or your phone or whatever you need. It's all right here. I also like how they added a light back here. It's a portable light. You can literally carry it wherever you want and turn it on. It's got a whole bunch of different settings, but you also can plug in your phone right here and charge it or charge any other thing. That was just a little bit about the Nebula Mars 3 projector. If you guys would like to go check it out, their link will be down below in the description. Thank you to Nebula for sponsoring today's video and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of it. Anyways, like I was saying, we are back here at the Russian River and this place is very well known for a lot of bears. Now there's a lot of bear safety tips that you guys gotta learn and uh, you know, I'll go over them as the video goes on. I'm hoping we can maybe see a bear today and uh, catch some trout. So. Come along for the adventure, guys, and please sit back and enjoy. All right, we're leaving the tundra, and it's time to start the adventure. Bear safety on the Russian and Kenai rivers. Hey, don't be this guy. Don't be this guy. Pets must be on a leash. Backpacks and gear must be within three feet of you. These are some good tips, man. Carry accessible bear spray and know how to use it. Oh, she's strapped. She's ready to rip. Obviously, hey, I got the piece. Why don't you have Lindsay on a leash? Oh! Oh, what did he say? Stay on the trails and make noise. Do not run from bears. Stay in a group. If a bear approaches you while reeling in a fish, cut the line. 
and give bears plenty of space. Those are just some tips, guys, of bear safety. If you want to learn more, uh, I'll leave a link down below where you can learn all about it. But we just got to be smart about it. That's pretty much the, the general idea. Don't be a big dumb idiot when you're here. But we're making our way on the trail. I think we're all pretty excited to do a little bit of trouting. Oh my God, is that BW Films? All right, spot number one of the day. We're just gonna be, I'm gonna be doing some nymphing to start out with. I'm not really sure what these fish are biting yet, but I got basically this little caddis right there and then a little indicator on top. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Almost died. Good way to start the year off. Well, yeah, if we could pull a fish out here, that'd be cool. This is just the first spot that I like hitting every year. And we'll see if we can get one for you. Stay tuned. All right, nothing at spot one. We're going to keep moving. most exciting part of today so far. Well folks, she is not wrong. We've been fishing for about 40 minutes or so and there's a lot more people here than I thought as well as sockeye salmon. I've been walking by people, they've been hooking up left and right. Maybe we picked the wrong day to come target rainbow trout. I knew it's a little bit early but I didn't think there's that many reds here. However, everybody's been catching some and I've been seeing some stringers full so maybe I am wrong. But as far as the rainbow fishing goes, it's been tough so far. We hit up some holes that have been nice. Uh, there's one hole in particular, there was people there so we didn't get to fish it. So for sure, before we leave, I wanna try fishing that. But yeah, I just thought I would give you guys a little update that fishing is tough right now and it still might be a little bit too early 
for the trout. But if you are all about the sockeyes, now is a pretty good time to come. I'm also a little bummed out because a gentleman came up to us and told us about 40 minutes before we showed up, there was a mama bear and one cub or two cubs? Two cubs. And I would have loved to have seen that and got that on film. But I was a little too late and didn't get to video of that, unfortunately. They seem to be minding their own business and just kind of going after the salmon. And that is usually how the bears react here. Uh, they're more interested in the salmon rather than the human beings. But we're gonna keep grinding and hopefully, maybe, we can catch something. Well, we were sitting here enjoying the day, waiting for our turn to take a crack at some trout in this hole. And a little black bear came walking out. So I grabbed the camera as fast as I could and started filming it. Hopefully I got it good enough for you guys. Um, I would have liked to have seen a brown bear, but a black bear, you know, you can't complain. It was super cool to see. Wasn't really interested in us at all, which is for the better probably. But yeah, no, that's really cool. You come here and see some bears pretty close. And we're just gonna sit here and wait our turn and hopefully maybe catch a trout. My, my hopes are, are pretty low right now. The trout fishing is definitely way too early, but I wanted to come out here and film a different type of video for you guys because it's been all king salmon lately. And I feel like you guys may be getting a little bored of that. There we go. I'm on. Let's go. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, come on, baby. Ooh, this is scary. This is scary. This is scary. Got a rainbow on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yeah. Let's go, dude. I was beginning to lose hope. See him right here? Nice rainbow. Oh. Well, folks, we're sitting here waiting our turn. And, uh, yeah, we're sitting here waiting our turn. And I finally got to go in there. Oh, and I have, I'm hooked up right now. I don't know how I feel about it. Let's see if I can get him in. I'm nervous. This is a nice one. Uh, hey, Slayman. Oh. He seen you and got scared, brother. You don't like you, brother. No. This no, is this is lit. This is lit, bro. I seen that go down, I'm like, oh God, just a snag, you know? Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. I'm gonna try to give him that Eddie Sam. Nah, Lindsay, don't worry about it. Bro, I know he's just staying in his current. Ah. Uh, oh, bro. I have a lot of pressure on him right now, Sam. Dude. 
food. I have so much pressure on him. Come on, Sam, I need you. Come on, Sam, I need you. Come on, Sam. Yep. Come on, Sam, I need you. I need you, buddy. Bring him over here, John. Got him. Dude, that's a tank. Let's get him in this corner here. Beauty. Oh my God, it's my PB here. Oh, that's nice, dude. Let's go. You grinded all day, dude. Waiting our turn, watching people sockeye salmon fish. Finally stuck a chunky bow. Let's go, dude, nymphing, I'm telling you. I wasn't expecting much, but we got it freaking done. Wow, and he is like, he was not getting off, dude. You see how deep that is? Oh yeah. Like, beautiful, beautiful hook placement. We'll take that. All right, fellas. Absolutely grinded for this beauty of a rainbow. This is probably the prettiest rainbow I've ever caught. Um, and I caught it exactly how I wanted to catch it. And it was so cool. Such a cool, beautiful fish. Nice and colored up. Oh my God, that is a beautiful fish, man. We're gonna take good care of him. As you can see, his uh, his dorsal right here, Sam. Look, he got bit off or something. I don't, I don't know what that strat is, but... I'm pumped right Let's now. Go, That's dude. a chunky monkey, First dude. rainbow of First the year. First rainbow of the year. Me and Sam were not expecting like anything, to be honest with y'all. We just came out here to like hopefully see a bear. And for that fish to bite after everything we went through, so cool. All right, one last look at this beauty of a fish. Oh my God, such a gorgeous fish. There he goes. Speechless, man. All I know is we worked for that one and hella pumped. All right, guys, I'll give you more of kind of like an in-depth kind of feel for what I'm doing today. Uh, you know, by no means am I a fly master. I have no clue what I'm doing, but this is what I am doing today. I am using a six weight St. Croix rod. Uh, they sent it to us this year. And so far, I absolutely love this rod. Uh, you can check it out in the description below. They sent us three weights, six weights, eight weights, you name it. They got all the dope rods, but that's what I'm using today. I got that paired with just a little reel right here. And my man is on a salmon right now, so I'm gonna step out of his way. And then we come up here to my tapered leader that I have. I'm not sure exactly if it's like 6X. I think it might be 6X or so, but I got a little strike indicator up top, which you don't have to use it, but I decided to use it. I just think it works the bait a little bit better and helps it float down the stream better. I got down here about a foot tippet leader and this is 5.5 pound test. Uh, like I said, about a foot, maybe a little more than a foot. And then the bead that I chose today, or the nymph I chose today, I don't know the exact name of this, but I think it's just supposed to mimic some type of, you know, caddis or some other little creature that would be floating around in, in this river system. But somehow, some way, I got that fish to bite when all odds were against me. And uh, I mean, it just shows like if you're having a day like we're having, just getting absolutely murked, it just takes that one bite to turn things around. And man, did it ever turn around. Well guys, we ended up fishing for another 20, 30 minutes or so. And the bite really wasn't there. Again, this is very early, like super early. I was surprised I even caught one, to be honest. I came here mostly for the bears, but the, the catch on that rainbow was the icing on top of the cake that I was looking for, for this video. I might have to come back down here and do a little bit of sockeye fishing because they're definitely in here right now. So let me know in the comment section down below if you guys wanna see that video.
Got to see a bear today, caught some fish, met new people. All in all, what a day. And uh, yeah, no, I, that's just the cool thing about Alaska is you don't really have to have a plan. You can just go do something and it's gonna be adventure. I can almost guarantee that. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. We're gonna be here for another couple months. So again, I keep saying this over and over, drop comments and let us know what do you guys wanna see because we like filming content that you guys wanna watch. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one.